Hello, my peepers. This is Shaleen of the Color and Book Nook. And I am going to show you some flip throughs. <coughs> Just bear with me. Okay, you might hear the dog bark because I'm in the kitchen and she likes to bark out the big picture window in the next room. So, in this flip throughs, I have three books. These are by Fabiana Antonaggio. And this one, I only have three of them. This one is Alice in Wonderland. So we will do a flip through. This is the cover. It unfolds. And some of this is colored in. Some of it's not the greatest. Some of it's when I first started adult coloring without doing all the shading. And it tells you the story about Alice. So, yep, the story of Alice in Wonderland. And then there we have Alice. The rabbit. Alice falling down the rabbit hole. Pretty. And then this is Alice, kind of like those little dolls, you know, inside each other. That's what that reminds me of. Keys. So this would be cute with some pearlescent paints, metallic paints, um, metallic marker. Well, you could use water-based markers, not alcohol markers. And your metallic pencils. Alice is eating from the cupcake. I don't remember her going into the water. Might have to rewatch Alice in Wonderland again. <laughs> so these are very cute pages. There's a lot you could do with them. The paper is nice and it's thick. It's not like copy paper. It's like um, a lightweight cardstock. Here's all your mushrooms. Fish. That looks like a frog, but that's a fish. Cheshire Cat. That one it will be a lot of fun to color. I have had these books for a long time, for a couple years. There's the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite things, so you'd think that I would color in this more. So, yeah. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on. Still have a little bit of a cough, so I got a drink. <coughs> and I cough a lot when I get talking. Just the remnants of a cold slash sinuses. I think it was sinuses. So... Yep. So there is that, and then this is the cover unfolds, and inside is a huge ass poster to color. 
I have not opened this, so I have no idea what it looks like. But it is huge. And because of the glue, it left a mark on the paper. So I think that was like the dumbest thing they did was put glue and put that on the glue because now you have a stain. Hopefully marker or something will cover that up, but yeah, really stupid of them. This is a huge ass poster. And I'm trying to remember how it was folded. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't remember. This is why I don't ever unfold anything because I can never get it folded back up and that's not how it was folded. Okay. This. There we go. This. And there. There we go. So that was Alice in Wonderland. And I'm getting tired of the stand, not stay, tripod. Now we have The Adventures of Pinocchio. And again, the cover unfolds. You can color that. And I don't think I have colored in this at all. And then you have the story of Pinocchio for the first few pages. You do have little things you can color. So then we start the story. And the other thing with these is the crease in the center. I hate when they do that too. <laughs> I'm not trying to complain. I'm really not. I'm just telling you some of the cons of these coloring books. One is the poster is glued in the back so it leaves a stain and two they leave these creases or I mean the the uh, the pages go right through the crease so when you're coloring it you can't get it all. Again this paper is really nice and it's a lightweight cardstock. Oh, I think I skipped a page. Hold on. So we did that. We had that. We had that. Okay, yep. Now here we go. So then you got to use your imagination and draw in. It looks like what's supposed to be Jiminy Cricket. <sighs> yep. pretty pages. Again, you can use water-based markers. You cannot use alcohol-based markers because the alcohol bleeds through. But you could use, you know, um, it, it's thick enough paper. You can use watercolors, you know, your ink tents, your watercolor pencils, water-based markers, colored pencils, Glitter pens. So, like I said, I have not colored in this one yet. There's a tree you can doodle away in it, do whatever you want. You can decorate up the dog any way you want. Make it any kind of dog you want. So the pros are, I like the designs. I like the weight of the paper. Um, 
I usually like one-sided so you can use alcohol markers, but this is fine because it's telling a story. <clears throat> the size is really nice of the book. So the, you know, the only two pros I find is how the picture goes right down into the crease and the poster is glued so it leaves a stain. Get all the clocks. And I love cuckoo clocks, so I will enjoy this page, these two pages. I'm a real boy. <laughs> and again, a poster. I'm not opening this one up. Sorry, I had troubles refolding that one, but you get the gist of it. And then the other one I have is Snow White. This also has a removable poster. And again, the cover opens up. You can color that. And, yeah, I was just playing with some colored pencils in here, and I don't even remember what I did. <clears throat> so we have the story. Just like you did in the other books. There's the castle. And again, double sided, so you would use anything that's water based, glitter gel pens, and um, colored pencils. Again, the pro is the images go right into the creases of the book. It's the only thing I don't like. This was a color lawn, I believe, that color that Anne did from A Colorful Life. I think we did a few pages in this. Yep, there's the other one. That was with Anne from A Colorful Life. This was in 2018 that she did that. February 2018. Wow, almost two years ago that we did that. That doesn't seem possible that it's been that long. So there's the huntsman supposed to kill her. Yep. So these books I am keeping because people do Fabiana and Tanagio every once in a while for color lawns. Oh, that's another page that we did. And this is before I used to write down what pencils I used. Because I used to write them down and they're not written in here. So I don't remember what we used. Because that was two years ago. <laughs> I can't remember. I've slept since then. So, so you will be getting a lot of flip throughs for the next month or two. I'm cleaning off my bookshelf, getting rid of some. So I'm just going to do the flip throughs of each shelf as I do it and make a pile of the books I not keep it. There's the evil queen with the apple. So 
So, yep, very cute books. If you like cutesy books, or you like storytelling books, there you go. And again, the poster. Oh, I took my poster out. I don't know what I did with it. It must be on the bookshelf. I didn't see it. I know I have it. So, that is that. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for some more flip-throughs.